family and friends. It is December 22nd, which means it is day 22 of our Advent readings. Every day in December leading up to Christmas, we have been looking forward to the birth of Jesus and recognizing our need for him to be our hero, our savior, savior and our rescuer. Also, we've been looking at stories through the Bible that show why we need Jesus as our hero, redeemer, and rescuer. We're reading from the Advent Storybook, 25 Bible stories showing why Jesus came. This book is by Laura Ritchie and it's illustrated by Ian Dale. Today, day 22, is Daniel and the Kingdom from Daniel 1 through 2. So if you have your Advent ornaments, would you please find the day 22 ornament that looks like this? And you can cut it out and hang it on your tree. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Revelation eleven fifteen. God loved his people and wanted to be friends with them. But over and over again, they stopped loving God. People from a different country called Babylon fought with Israel. They forced the Israelites to leave the home God had given them. But God still loved his people. He had a plan to bring his people back to him. Not just people from Israel, but people from all over the world. The king of Babylon chose the smartest and strongest young men to serve at his palace. One of these Israelite men was Daniel. Daniel was determined to follow God no matter what. And God helped Daniel. God gave him wisdom and helped him understand dreams. The king, named Nebuchadnezzar, had a scary dream. None of the wise men knew what the dream meant, but God showed the dream to Daniel. In his dream, Nebuchadnezzar saw a statue. It had a gold head, silver chest and arms, bronze middle and thighs, iron legs, and feet made from a mixture of clay and iron. A stone struck the image on its feet and the whole statue fell over in pieces. But the stone that hit the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Daniel told the king that the statue showed different kingdoms. His kingdom, the gold head, would end and other kingdoms would follow. But they would all be wiped away by the stone. The stone represented the kingdom of God, that kingdom that God would make and one that would last forever and be greater than any kingdom that ever was. After hearing this, the king said, truly your God is God of gods and Lord of kings and a revealer of mysteries. For you have been able to reveal this mystery. Daniel 2 47. The promised son would be the king of this new kingdom of God. What do you think the kingdom of God is like? Well, a lot of times we look forward to heaven. We look forward to what it's going to be like to, to live with Jesus forever and ever. But did you know that we get to experience parts of God's kingdom right here, right now? That's why it's so great that when we believe in Jesus and then we make the choice to get baptized in front of the church, we get to be with other Christians and believers and experience the, the, the joy and the peace and the hope that we have when we share that common faith, when we get to tell other people about how much Jesus loves him and how great the life is that he has for him, them, all of that is things that help us experience God's kingdom right now. And then one day when we get to be with him forever in heaven, it's going to be even better. That is the best gift that we could even want or think about this Christmas.